Hello guys, this is Push Dustin with Source Gaming, and joining me today is Lead Translator Soma. Hey guys. And today we'll be talking about Sakurai's thoughts on the Switch. So Soma translated the whole column on Source Gaming, and I thought first we would just quickly summarize what Sakurai actually said in the column. Yeah, so basically he uh, had he was re reacting to the presentation, the January 12th presentation. And mm -hmm. he had three main points. He was surprised that the release date was so early, as I'm sure many of us were. Uh, he he said that it was cheap relative to what they said was in the in the whole package, because um, mm -hmm. he was listing off you know the touch screen, like you know it's a pretty high resolution screen, the dock, the, mm -hmm. all this stuff. And he said it was region free, which I think which is actually a really big deal to Sakurai that I don't think a lot of people really understand or know about him is that he plays like a ton a ton of foreign games so I think he actually was probably genuinely really excited for that yeah um, there's actually another translation that we posted which was a uh, Sakurai surprising cl uh, storage collection I believe it's called and um, Sakurai just talks about his own game collection and how there's so many different games from all over the world that he has if you look at his uh, favorite games of the year uh, kind of like Famitsu column, like it's a yearly, I think yearly thing, or maybe he only did up until 2014. But yeah, almost he, yearly. Yeah, yeah, he lists a lot of foreign games there too. So Sakura is excited for the Switch. Um, maybe not surprising to a lot of people because he's been traditionally a Nintendo developer. Right. What do you think? Um, do you think that because of this column, do you think that he is developing a game for the Switch? Well. It's kind of confusing, right? Because he does talk about how he didn't know some of the stuff, which I think he mm -hmm. stresses that he's like both close and far to Nintendo, right? And I think yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Uh, he was definitely close with Nin with Iwata in particular, I think. Mm -hmm. And he was also like business-wise, he was he was aligned with Nintendo really closely. But maybe that personal connection to Nintendo isn't there as much for whatever reason, yeah. right? Um, he, I don't know, it seems kind of yeah. weird that they wouldn't keep him in the loop, right? Because mm -hmm. this is just like kind of general stuff, like maybe, okay, maybe he did, didn't know the release date, maybe he doesn't know the price, but specifically region locking is something I think Sakurai would really want to, to, know, to know about personally, and the fact that he didn't know about it is pretty surprising, especially mm -hmm. since uh, there was um, a rumor from Laura Kate Dale and her site, uh, Let's Play Video Games, that mm -hmm. said that the dev kits at least were region free. And those, yeah. she did like the whole like sources vetting article um, that like went through what sources gave her what information. And there she outlines that the two sources that gave her that, that information were pretty reliable the entire way through. One was from Nintendo and one was from Ubisoft. So mm -hmm. I, it's, it's kind of weird to me that Sakurai would have a dev kit or be tinkering with one and not know, especially because this is something he would really want to know about. It, it seems like it would be like one of the key features that developers would at least have to know about. Right, especially with Smash, because he makes slight differences between each region, not like in terms of gameplay, but just in terms of you know trophy descriptions or whatnot. I don't know if there are specifically those differences in like Smash 4, but like obviously Melee came with two different languages depending on where yep. you were, right? So With um, Smash 4 Wii U, there was some changes made because of the rating boards in the various countries. Oh, uh, right, so Palutena and... The Japanese, yeah. Yeah, the Japanese version had uh, Palutena, as you mentioned, and Wonder Pink, slightly altered, uh, as well as Lin, I believe. Right, right, right. That makes sense. It's it's a little bit weird that he didn't know, especially if uh, Laura Kate Dale's um, source in at Ubisoft knew it. Right, I mean... To be fair, we do know that dev kits are mm -hmm. occasionally not region locked when the console itself yeah. is. So, like, I know that the test PS2s are not region locked, even though the PS2 obviously is. And um, mm -hmm. the Dolphin development kit has the uh, yep. the switches, which let you switch mm -hmm. between, you know. But even even with all those things considered, I do think it's a little weird that he doesn't know, especially like if he was working on this game, right? Because we know the yeah. Sakurai we know is like this this perfectionist he's obsessed he he doesn't like to delegate a lot he he really likes mm -hmm. people to stick to, to hands on it. yeah he's hands on and he likes people to stick to his vision to like stick to what he personally envisioned 
Um, yeah. Not to make him sound like a tyrant or anything, but I I do think he likes having a lot of de- a large degree of control over his project. And so the fact mm-hmm. that he wouldn't know about this, or the fact that he wouldn't know about every detail, right? Yeah. Is pretty weird to me. Of course, it's possible that he's stepping back, right? But mm-hmm. you would think that he would be um, obsessively reading the software development kit information, like the manual that would surely come with one. Right. And just know every single feature about the system. Especially because he's... I mean, I wouldn't say that Smash has necessarily always taken like full advantage mm-hmm. of the hardware, hardware, but it's always something he's tried to do. You know? Yeah. Like, with Brawl, he tried, and... He definitely had the Wii audience in mind what Brawl was being mm-hmm. developed, so... And I mean, the Wii U, not so much. I mean, 3DS, the 3DS Wii U differences were kind of what fueled that game as opposed yeah. to the Wii U specifically, you know. I don't know. If he's if he's not working on anything for the Switch, what do you think he's doing? Because we know he's working, right? It's pretty unlikely that he would take mm-hmm. a two-year sabbatical, because it's Sakurai. I believe uh, you checked over this information when uh, we reposted it originally, but he did confirm that he was at least working on something a couple months ago when the mini NES came out. Right. Yeah, he did. Uh, he, he mentioned that you know he was in a development studio of some sort and that he was one of the oldest people there. Yeah. I mean, he could he could have been like mm-hmm. hy- hypothetically being like, oh, like not really saying like a specific development room, but. Even then, yeah, I, th- I think he's working on something. Because and then um, with a storage article, he mentioned that he bought a figure just for its gun. Yeah, Vifem or something. Yeah. He, it's some old anime, robot anime, mm-hmm. and yeah. And uh, the gun in question, I think, is kind of like a sniper rifle type sci-fi rifle thing, so... Yeah. But, you know, that could be a lot of things. Some people, I know some people were like, oh, it's Splatoon, right? Because that's kind of mm-hmm. the one main Nintendo franchise that uses guns, even if they're not, like, yeah. extremely realistic, right? But it could be anything. Mm-hmm. He could be, or, I don't know, he could be making, like, He a, could not be working on Smash, yeah. He could be making a Gundam game for, like, the, the Vita. Like, who mm-hmm. knows? Because Sakurai has done uh, <laughs> licensed proje- projects before. Well, one in particular, but, yeah. Mushi King, yeah. which yep. is just, um... An arcade like interact uh, collectible card game, but like the cards. Had it's a scan had like it's barcodes. Yeah, it's a LCI game, I believe it's called. It's like a Tamagotchi. I have it right in my hand, actually. Oh really? Yeah, <laughs> it's on my desk because I, I was showing it off to uh, Nintanjax when he came to visit. Oh, oh right, this is this is the the Tamagotchi Mushi King stuff, not like the the base arcade. Yeah, stuff, he, right, right. he made the, the Tamagotchi one. Okay, yeah. So, he could really be working on anything. He could be making Medios 2, you know? Mm-hmm. I think it would be understandable to a degree if he, he stepped away from Smash, uh, especially if, if the kind of like the limited content, limited new content port rumor is true. Yeah, definitely. Um, if Sakura is not involved, then maybe Nintendo doesn't want to take a, a great risk with it. Right, it's, and... They're kind of in a in a tough spot because mm-hmm. they they obviously want to have a Smash game on the Switch, you yeah. know. But it's kind of look, I guess to me, if Sakurai was working on a Smash game, this kind of makes it seem like it's not coming out anytime soon. Or maybe it would be like something where they just port the game and he works on only on the DLC. Yeah, yeah, or something like that, because um. Uh, if you remember at the end of Smash for Wii U and 3DS, he really said that the characters themselves are the ones that make the game new, not really the game system itself. Right. Yeah, and I think that was in um, Exhaustion and Excitement. Yeah, and he he likes working on the DLC. I think because they tend to be yeah. more out there in terms of like, well, I think they're both generally more important characters, or at least the third party ones, right? Mm-hmm are generally more important yeah. characters like especially with where we are now we're kind of reaching like the fringe nintendo characters mm-hmm. right i mean uh, there's some kind of big missing pieces with yeah sakurai justifications right it's so, like ridley i mean mm-hmm. but like ridley's not a huge character metro's not a, a huge yeah. series right it's not like 
I can't think... He's huge with the Smash fan base. Yeah, but I, I don't think there's, like, any Nintendo characters that are, like, essential that we're missing. Mm -hmm. So, I think Sakurai yeah. working on the port in, like, a DLC only or, like, consultant self thing is mm -hmm. possible. Like, we do know that Sakurai really likes to iron out all the details of the characters even before, like, yeah. work on the game is done. Right? He likes posing his little... Yeah wooden mannequins and stuff to to make the frame data and stuff so he could be just doing that in his office while like chilling and resting his shoulder sounds mm -hmm. nice yeah just taking photos and also with the dlc like sakurai has a smaller team to work with which would probably be a lot easier to manage right yeah because I, th I think he said with um smash for wii u and 3ds that he really enjoyed working on the dlc yep whereas like the main game i think that was more of like the crunch time and that was a lot harder he did have um, two assistant directors to help him, though, this time around. Yeah. He um, talks in the Day of a Director kind of series of columns, I think, that Smash mm -hmm. 4 is, like, the most work he's had to do. Um, but I, yeah. uh, he means that kind of in, like, this is, like, the most content I've ever had to put into a game, right? Mm -hmm. Not, like, this is the most hours I've worked because... Yeah, because he talks about melee. yeah, because he talks about his schedule and he's like, well, at least I'm still sleeping six to seven hours a day, which is like a good thirty three yeah. percent increase over his like reported four hours of sleep melee days melee year mm -hmm. of development. So honestly, if he's taking it easy, good for him. He has like what yeah shoulder calcification tendonitis something. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it would be sad yeah, to see him not. <clears throat> not make anything for the switch or at least for his current project to not be for the switch but you know yeah i think it would be a big blow to nintendo if it doesn't come out on a nintendo system at all yeah whatever he's working on yeah i mean i don't think that would happen it's possible um i mean i think it's possible that he's making a game but it's just kind of coming out so far in the future that scaling mm -hmm. it to the switch or to the ps4 isn't that big of a deal and I, I feel yeah. like sakurai at least personally will be willing to put it on the switch because he likes mm -hmm. i think he likes working with nintendo yeah so and he obviously has a good relationship with most of the people at nintendo i would imagine yeah i don't know if he knows kimishima personally probably not but mm -hmm. he has some connections there oh numa right he's still friends with Aonuma. yeah he's friends with Whoever, Miyamoto. So. Miyamoto for sure. So Yeah. Well, uh, is there anything else that you'd like to add before we wrap this up? If you had one guess for a non Smash game Sakurai was making, what I do you think one what, guess. what type of game do you think it would be and on what platforms? Just like a throwaway guess, because I don't think we have any any real hints. Uh shoot 'em up. I think I think a shoot 'em up would be a, an interesting genre for Sakurai to tackle. And it's one that um he's he clearly likes because I think a couple of the games that he's listed were shoot 'em ups and um, in his live stream for his 500 um, Famitsu column celebration, he showed one for the Vita, I, I believe. Oh yeah, something. It was like one of those hardcore shmups, right? It was it wasn't like Mushihime Sama or something, but it was a uh, yeah. I don't remember, but it was one of those bullet hell. If I think of a, like a long sniper rifle, then I could imagine something like that. I was honestly thinking he could be working on like a third, like kind of like a generic third person action game, but I mm -hmm. think that would be kind of, kind of not a waste of Sakurai's talents, but I, I have a, there are a lot of third person action games, so yeah. Yeah. He could be working on something like, like giant robot or like mech related, which I could see mm -hmm. just from the Vifem, but, or, or he's working on like a puzzle game. But I mean, he usually what he usually does is he takes a genre and then just reinvents it. Yeah, he likes doing that. I mean, he hit what Uprising is like the shooter, uh, Smash is the yeah. fighting game. So yep, Kirby's Air Ride Racing. Yeah, and then platforming, obviously Kirby. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Kirby. Yeah, a, a Sakurai shmup will be will be pretty interesting. I don't know what it would be like. You probably wouldn't die, right? You would never. Yeah, you probably a, wouldn't you, die. You wouldn't, you wouldn't hit a game over screen for sure. No. Yeah. Probably some some Dude. sort of uh, Ikaruga like, level, like... Uh, I'm excited to see what so uh, Sakurai does. I think his game is probably coming out on Switch, no matter what, mm -hmm. but Switch, and if it's not Nintendo exclusive, Switch and PS4, right? That seems to be... Yeah. I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I can't imagine an Xbox game, even though he has one, I just don't... Yeah, I just don't think it's something that would It be... sells well uh, in Japan, I think. 
Yeah. Because he's, he's also really focused on Japanese gaming. Yeah, that's kind of why shoot 'em up also makes sense, because most shoot 'em ups I think are Japanese. I can't really think of mm -hmm. any good ones. Maybe, maybe Cinemora. I'm not sure if that's actually an American or, or a non Japanese game, though. So, yeah. Yeah. It'll be exciting to see what happens. I, he's never made a game for PC, as far as I know, also. So, yeah, and and uh, he definitely likes Steam. He has a lot of Steam games. Oh yeah, he does love Steam, which is interesting. But yeah, I don't think he would release a game on Steam either. Just no for financial reasons. But mm -hmm. yeah, possibly a PS4. Strategy game would also be interesting. Strategy. Yeah, he likes Fire Emblem. He doesn't he play Civ? Something. Like that. I don't, I don't know if I don't remember if I've ever seen Civ on his list. Oh, uh, maybe I could be remembering wrong. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I think that basically wraps it up. A little bit of baseless speculation, but hopefully we get to see what he's working on soon. Everyone who's watching this, let us know what you think in the comments below, and stay subscribed for more uh, discussions and videos about Nintendo and Smash. Thanks. See you guys later. The audio used in this video is from Ben Briggs. Be sure to check out his website on twitchjams.com for more information. It's Webson.